hopefully I can do a little fishing without getting blown all over the place. Looks pretty windy though. Alright, boat drifted off by itself. The anchor in the bed totally did its thing. That wind. We'll see if I can compete with this wind. And here we go. Got that lipless crankbait tied on already, so that's good. Sort of. And we're off. Round two. Yep, blowing around in the wind already. Let's get my lipless crank untangled from this mess. Afraid. Do not rely on this as your primary source of navigation. Let's get up here to the front trolling motor. All right. Gonna retie this. This wind is pushing me towards the bank faster than my trolling motor can get me away from it. My favorite lipless crank, Strike King Red Eye Shad. Hear that wind? See, look at it, turn my boat around 360 degrees in about 12 seconds. Speed five, full blast into the wind. 0.92 miles per hour. I see a few shad over this way, so I'm just gonna give it a few casts. Battling this wind. This wind is f***ing balls today. 0.56 miles per hour going into the wind. So, for everyone out there, you know, considering getting a boat and just using a trolling motor to get around. 41 pound thrust, motor guide brute up front. Half a mile an hour into the wind at full speed. I got my 30 pound thrust back there. I don't think it would do much better. But hopefully I can still find some fish even though I'm blowing around in circles out here. We're gonna try this side, see if we can find some shed. Yeah, let's see what the fish finder looks like right underneath me, mountain range of orange and yellow. That makes me think, oh, that's a shad. I'm right in a school of shad right here. Oh, I caught a shad right in the face. Look at that. There we go, got one, just like last time. All right, I'm gonna make my way back up there. I'm hoping I can catch one over here on this side by these branches in the water and above this giant school of shad that seems to be over here. Hoping to get just, you know, one nice bass, make it all worth it. Oh, thought I had a fish snagged. Now I got to go up there and get it. Got it. All right, this is a crazy cast, but I'm going to make it right here. Fish. Get over here. Nice. All right, got one. Let me get my boat out of here real fast. Super shallow, I gotta get back out. There we go. Nice one. Got him on the lipless crankbait. Right through here between, the, uh, between these bushes and this uh, limb in the water. Nice. All right. Let's let him go. So I got him right there. It was a tricky cast. 
between the brush and this uh, limb in the water, but I got them. It was exciting. Let's keep going. Oh, that was in the tree. Oh, stick. I was like, oh, I got another one. No. Oh man, this is like a morning star or whatever. Cat of nine tails. What is it called? A flail. Make a few casts over around this side. There we go. Fish, fish, nice one. Another bass. I'm lifting them up. Got him in the boat. Stop reaching for the pliers. Yeah, that one came out. I don't know about this one though. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Second bass of the day. Both of these, you know, between a, a pound and a pound and a half, I think. Let's let them go. Look at that tree in there. Beaver has been eating at it. There's a beaver in here somewhere. He's taking that tree down. All right, coming back up on that point where I caught two of them. Watching that fish finder. Waiting for that cloud of shad. Still nothing. I was seeing them here earlier. Must have moved. I'm still going to take a few casts over here. I already caught two. Might as well try again. Fish? What is this? What happened? What do we got here? Hey, got one. Looks like a bass. Sweet, third bass of the day. Not very big. Let's get him off the hook here. Nice. Look at that little fin down here. Black fin. Nice one. Three bass so far from just this little spot right here. Getting pushed into the bank pretty fast. I gotta hurry up and get out of here. Let's get a few casts over this way if I can. Whoa, get out of the tree. Okay. Fish? Do I got a fish? I got something. What is this? Yes, another bass. Not very big. Four bass so far. They really like that point right there. There we go. Another one. Fourth bass of the day. That's insane. Got one right by the boat. Oh, that's a hybrid. That was a big old white bass. All right, white bass. He 
come up and hit it right down over here. Pretty good sized white bass. Another species for the day, so that's about four bass, one nice white bass. We're calling it a day. Let's get out of here. Once again, just looking for schools of shad on the fish finder. Fishing them with that lipless crank. I was able to get quite a few. Caught more than last time. I think that's a good sign. All right, tie this up. Let's go back the trailer down. More wind. All right, it was a pretty good day. I was out there battling the wind, learning how to control my boat, watching the fish finder, fishing schools of shad. I managed to catch four largemouth bass. Two of them were pretty good, two of them were pretty small, and I got a bonus white bass, a really nice one. I'm getting better at fishing. What are you doing? Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.